the ultradian cycle says that for the first five to 10 minutes of doing that, your mind is going to drift and your focus will probably kick in provided that you're visually, uh, you're restricting your visual world to the, just the material in front of you, something we talked about last episode, somewhere around the 10 or 15 minute mark. And then at best, you're probably going to get about an hour of, of uh, deliberate kind of tunnel vision uh, learning in there. Your mind will drift. And then toward the end of that, what is now an hour and 10 or hour and 20 minute um, cycle, you're going to your brain will start start to flicker in and out. You're trying your best to accomplish something and you're failing. You want to keep making errors for this period of time that I'm saying will last anywhere for about seven to 30 minutes. It is exceedingly frustrating, but that frustration, it liberates the chemical cues that signal that plasticity needs to happen. And it is the case that when we come back a day or two later in a learning bout after a nap or a night or two of deep rest, then what we find is that we can remember certain things and the motor pathways work and we don't always get it perfectly, but we get a lot of it right, whereas we got it wrong before. So that seven to 30 minute intense learning bout, specifically about making errors, I want to really underscore that. And it's not about, uh, as I mentioned before, coming up with some little hack or trick or, um, or something of that sort. It's really about trying to cue the nervous system that something needs to change because otherwise it simply won't change. I think everyone could stand to enhance the rate of learning by doing the following. Learn to attach dopamine in a subjective way to this process of making errors because that's really combining two modes of plasticity in ways that together can accelerate the plasticity. In other words, making failures repet failing repetitively provided we're engaged in a very specific set of behaviors when we do it, as well as telling ourselves that those failures are good for learning and good for us, creates an outsized effect on the rate of plasticity. It, it accelerates plasticity.